Hello again, basketball fans, and welcome to the NBA 2012-13 schedule release show on NBA TV. Rick Kamla, Dennis Scott, Matt Harpering here to unveil the main events sprinkled throughout the upcoming NBA regular season. Gentlemen, the dust just settled on the summer leagues in Orlando and Vegas, and we're already talking schedule. The NBA truly no longer has an offseason. No, it doesn't. You have to have your game ready all year round in the summer league. Boy, Orlando and Vegas, it was nice. I'm ready. I was ready for the schedule a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, your wait is over. We're giving it to you all right now, and we crank it up with your very first look at Kia NBA tip-off, celebrating the first week of the NBA's regular season. And opening night is Tuesday, October 30th on TNT. It's ring ceremony night in Miami as the Heat host the Celtics in a rematch of last year's Eastern Finals at 8 p.m. Eastern time followed by Steve Nash's debut as a Los Angeles Laker as L.A. plays host to one of Steve's former teams, the revamped Dallas Mavericks. But the season tips off on League Pass with the Wizards and Cavs. Yes, you get uh, John Wall against Kyrie Irving, but we're talking about these juicy TNT matchups right now. Dennis, how about the Ray Allen Bowl coming right out of the gate on TNT? It's amazing how you play against one team and you kind of don't like each other. But after you lose and a lot of the emotions subside, you say, wait a minute, I think I want to play with these guys. They got a ring coming to their finger. I want to get another ring on my finger. So uh, all of us were kind of shocked to see Ray, Ray Allen go down there, but you kind of understand you're late in your career. You want to be at the best situation and try to get another ring. And Matt, what are you looking forward to most when Steve Nash begins his L.A. chapter? Well, I think what everyone's looking forward to, uh, this is the guy that they wanted for years, and now they got a point guard finally, and he's, he's, it's the Nash effect. He makes everyone better on the court. He's going to make Bynum better. He's going to make us all better. The one question I have with Steve Nash is what's going to happen? Mike Brown has already said that he's going to put the ball in Steve Nash's hands. Well, Kobe Bryant is used to having that ball an awful lot. Can they coexist when Steve Nash has the ball and Kobe Bryant becomes that spot-up shooter? Well, that speculation is going to be fun between now and opening night. It's going to be fun to see how it plays out throughout the entire season.